Hi everyone, welcome to another video. I'm going to be channeling Archangel Metatron, and that's going to be real interesting. He, he's coming real strong, and he's been uh, wanting to channel through me for about a week now. And I've been excited about that, and uh, we're going to go ahead and get into the channeling. His energy does feel very peaceful, very resonant with me right now, and it feels pretty awesome. A lot of peace. You know, the usual. But we're going to go ahead and get in and see what he has to say. He's greeting everyone. He's greeting me as well. Thanking me. And he wants to jump straight into it. <sighs> he, 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 he likes that I'm nice and relaxed and feeling pretty good. You know, just in a peaceful state. And he's going on and uh, talking about how this time right now is a rest time here on Earth. Very restful. He wants us to take uh, a time for ourselves to rest. He's saying many people will panic, are panicking during this time, uh, are feeling this energy and they're like, why am I getting, why am I feeling like this? That I, I, I'm like incapacitated in a, in a way, like I can't do th things that I want to do. I want to go forth and do things that I want to do all the time. <laughs> but now is not that time to do that. It's almost like taking a deep breath before the plunge, as Gandalf would say in Lord of the Rings. You know, it's, you know, it's saying that before the real thing happens, you know, like, you need to take a deep breath and rest right now before we take a plunge into what we want to do, you know, our mission or our purpose or our work or doing some, making money or something, extra, extra money or something like that. Uh, he's really happy that I follow the guidance from my angels. And it may not be what you feel, like what you hear from the angels. You're not going to hear everything. That you don't hear them hear them all the time, you know. You can get the feeling, get the gist of what they're trying to tell you, though. If they're telling you to, if you can, you can sense the energy around you. If they're telling you to relax, and they're very relaxing, very peaceful, and, uh, that's that's the direction they want you to go in and you can listen to that and that's all about being in the ease and the flow of things and ha having more of a quiet mind and saying oh i can just listen to these guys and i can i listen to my angels and i can just relax right now so i feel him shifting gears a little bit and talking about feeling alone feeling this feeling of being alone here on earth on this rock in the middle of nowhere and you're in society, you're just feeling like you just don't belong. You're a star seed or something, and you just you just can't can't find your way, and you can't find your group of people or something like that. <laughs> I mean, that happens to every one of us light workers, doesn't it? It's like, oh my god! But at some point, he says that there's a reasoning, there's a purpose behind this type of feeling. This feeling of being alone and we can overcome this fear of being alone and this allows us to turn more inwards and love ourselves and love ourselves for who we are by ourselves as we this begin to discover ourselves discover who we are what we want what we want to do we will discover others that do the same things as us that like the same things as us are more like us or even things that we need. Like as 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 me, you know, I felt really alone when I first awakened and I was trying to discover who I was and as a as a as a star seed and like I knew I was from somewhere else but I didn't know. And once I finally found that I was like blue avian 
I had, been, had all these bird lifetimes, a blue avian as a red avian, and I found that. I was very uh, amazed that once I d found that, I was able to find lead myself into a better direction, you know, uh, lead myself into finding more Pleiadian types of people that are more grounded. Because if, if I were to just hang out with a bunch of ungrounded starseeds all the time, then I wouldn't get anywhere because I'm very up in the clouds already. <laughs> so I need to find people that bring me down, get me grounded, get me more at peace. And I, I've, I've finally done that, and I will do that more in the future. And the angels have told me many times that I will find many more Pleiadi Pleiad Pleiadians and other star seeds that will help kind of bring me down to the ground level. Because I'm, I want to fly, I want to get all the, all the damn time. But I, I gotta relax, sit back, and then I, then I can, you know, level my mind and where I want to go. If I'm always ungrounded, I have, I'm so indecisive all the time. But if I'm grounded, I can, you know, go at things a little bit better, a little bit easier. I can handle more things, handle more responsibilities, and so forth. He wants to talk about letting go. Letting go in the spiritual community is a very important thing. Letting go, not stop putting pressure upon yourself like you're not doing enough or you should be doing more in terms of whether it's your your uh, uh, career or your YouTube or your spirituality or meditating. I should be meditating more, this like that. This is all coming from a space of lack and we just need to stop it. Just freaking stop this, sh <laughs> this crap. He's saying, oh, I just need to let go. Let go. Just let go. We need to stop controlling where we are in this moment and completely let go. So I sense a lot of people have been feeling also a, a, a sense of fear of the future, fear of the past, of what's going to happen, what's happened to them in the past. How are they going to deal with this? Uh, and I do feel him, you know, delving into having faith, trusting, trusting in your team, trusting in your spirit family, and trusting in the universe that you are going to be okay. And sometimes it's better not to know about things in the future or the past. It's better to stay in the moment because if something bad, if, you, if you're if you like worrying about something in the future and it may not even end up being that bad. So we need to stay in the moment and deal with it when we get there a lot of the times. You know, plan out what you need to in the meantime, but in the end, we need to stay in the moment, and that's the most important thing. We can keep our vibra vibrational frequency as high as possible. That way we can manifest the best outcome for us. Or not even that, just be manifest the best mental state for us. And having a good mental state is very underrated. When you have a good mental state, you can do whatever. <laughs> you, you're like freaking Superman. You can, you can, I can film a bunch of YouTube videos here and there, or do do what I want to do the things I love, you know, go to the gym. <laughs> so having good mental state is really good. Equals more abundance, equals more money, You sometimes. But having good mental state is really good. Good for us. I feel I'm saying one last thing is that he is looking out for us. The, our teams are looking out for us. We are being looked after. And it's going to be okay. So that's the end of the video today. And if you like the channeling from Archangel Metatron and enjoyed the video, please leave a comment. You know, subscribe, like, anything. Uh, that's I, I'm going to start filming some more videos. And I'm coming out with something new in the next few months. And if you're interested in that, I'm uh, excited to be announcing that soon. But anyways, thanks for watching. Bye.